Hello YouTubers, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel, a YouTube channel focused on cyber security topics. Today we are going to talk about Greenbone Open Wars. We had uh, some other videos previously about the uh, vulnerability scan, we had a uh, video about the Qualys scanner, we had the uh, Nessus, Acunitix. Previously in 2019, we had uh, another video to install OpenWAS Greenbone Virtual Appliance that's uh, on August 23rd, 2019. So what's the Greenbone, what's the OpenWAS, what's the difference between them? Actually the same company, Greenbone is the company behind OpenWAS since years they are developing this software to provide it to the community to use, which is Greenbone community version. They do have Greenbone Security Manager. Right now they're providing trial. You can get a 14 days trial key to test it, the Greenbone Security feed. You also can build it by your own from their GitHub and uh, follow this guide. Just um, make install and you should be able to get the uh, Greenbone addition to work which is open was open vulnerability assessment scanner to run in your virtual machine or in your physical machines. Let's also have a live demo from the Greenbone website, uh, which you can browse in those features, testing. Um, unfortunately, right now the Greenbone community edition website is not available anymore. Uh, we're still able to get it from some other people's downloading website. Um, once you search Greenbone Community Edition, you should be able to get the infosecindustry.com. There you should be able to download uh, Greenbone Community Editions. And then it's at 6.0 right now, version 6.0.10. You can download the ISO file and then mount it into your virtual machine to test it out. In this video, I'm gonna download the community edition and test it in the VM. Okay, let's start it. First thing you absolutely need to download it. Just click download now. You can get uh, the download version, which is I already downloaded. Or you can download it from community version here, just directly by clicking it. It's just gonna take one minute and then you get uh, all both uh, ISO files. At the same time, you probably need to request a key for that and assuming you can follow the guide and then submit it to get the key for your testing. This is my Hyper-V manager. Right click, choose new virtual machine. Next. Give a name for your virtual machine. I always create a new folder for my virtual machine. You can use generation one, the memory, at least four gig RAM. You may not use in dynamic memory for this virtual machine. Select the external bridge. Um, hard drive, let's leave it default and we have install ISO file pick that, next so your VM gonna get created make some changes on the processor I'm going to give you four virtual processor. Now we can start it. So system put it from the ISO file and come into a menu to select setup, wipe, quick wipe, share, reboot, power off. Yeah, of course, we do setup. 
you are about to install GSM dash commercial edition. Yes, the installation is in progress. Basically, just need to wait. I'm gonna pause the video until the next step comes up. Finally, the installation completed. Then you will get this. Choose the username for the administrative user. By default, it's admin. So this window is now you choose the name. You can customize your administrative user's username. So that is happened after like around 40 minutes for installation. You will get this window. So for me, I would keep the same. I will not change the admin username. But you need to generate a password for that. I will use in Cyberarc1 as an administrative user's password. Let's reboot. System rebooted by itself. So this time um, they finished. So basically, um, Greenbone commercial version has to reboot twice. So the first time reboot when you get the um, login, they're still doing some configurations. You can just wait until the second reboot done. Then you can log in with the username and password you set up earlier. So you need to wait. It reported again the second time when you saw the login window. Then that's the right time. You should be able to see this setup wizard. So we see. Um, yeah, there's no use for web interface. So let's uh, create a web admin. We create a password for this web admin user. There's no subscription key for Greenbone security feed. Um, we requested the Greenbone security feed uh, trial from the uh, download interface, the download web page. Still not getting that yet, but we can. We don't have to need it. So the difference between the commercial edition and also community edition is the feed. Of course, there's some features um, difference, but the major one is the feed is different. If you're using the commercial edition, then you will get the reg, um, green bone security feed. If you are using community version, community edition, then you will get community feed, which has less content inside. Uh, and updating is also not not that uh, uh, timely, uh, but for us it's fine. We can skip that. We can use a community version. So we're gonna do background system operation. So okay, they're performing some status check. Feed update not possible. Feed server is not reachable. Check your network and firewall. I may need some configuration on the setup side. Networking. Um, we set up interface. IPv4, DSCP. We can put some default IP here. We can put the 
four. Using the static IP, so now save TCP, TCP, okay. Back, go to DNS. There's no DNS settings here, so that's why, okay. Back Global Gateway Failed to start the system operation update feed. The system operation update feed is still running in background. Only one system operation can run at a time. Okay, so let's take a look about um, GSM type is commu community edition version is 6.0.10 feed version no feed present. Subscription key, no key present, web interface. It's running concurrently. Okay. Um, at this moment, we cannot do much. We have to wait uh, feed update down. So let's wait on that. After a couple of hours of waiting, um, I believe feed downloading has been done. We can take a look. So the web page is up right now. You can check it about. So then you can see feed version is showing right now. Not like before, there's no feed version, it's empty. Let's take a look at the web query as well. Um, so previously we set up the web admin and password so let me have those and you can see this is um, what we have we have MVTs by severity class how many vulnerabilities data we have right now this is a CVE chance by creation time now we can start our task we can build a new task to do scanning uh, there's a couple of ways to do you can use in task research or you can use new task. Let's try to use in the task widget. Um, we can scan in our network gateway, which is easy one. Immediately scan, request it. We can also create a new task. We can scan whole network. Uh, right now we don't have our task defined yet, so we're going to define our task. Let's say Port list is all IANA assigned TCP 2012. Live test. You can keep all those default and then save it. So we're gonna scan Office Network. Save it. So that's our second task. 
and we can start it as well. It's going to take a while to be done. Uh, I'm going to pause here. Once it's finished, it, I'm going to continue. Both scanning is still ongoing, um, we, but we still can see the result, even if it's not finished yet. You can click the um, progress bar and see the status. So it's 96%. We're only scanning one host at this moment. Um, we already have four results for severity. Different severity shows median and the row. They have a score here. Then we can see one host and there's two ports open. That is an um, immediate scan for IP 192.168.2.1 and we can see the first scan 192.168.2.0 host net, whole network scanning is 99% done but I'm assuming it's gonna take a while as well it will not be done that quickly we can see the result right now so you can see there's a high severity, it's almost uh, just one found one high, but then for medium we have six of the median, low we have four of low severity result. And there's a cloud topology for the vulnerability word and the result by CVSSS, total two hundred seven result here and then our host IP is listening here as well so we can see one nine two one six two dot two four five about the others let's click high it's the OS end of life detection it's on the one nine two one six eight dot two dot thirty four which is our green bone machine so the OS is end of life support detected that is a high vulnerability. We installed this commercial edition. We did uh, our first two scans. Um, that we can review the result. Thank you for watching.